All right, I am back. Okay. <clears throat> I don't want to draw anything in the center area here. I think I'm going to have to uh, try to pull him north, loop around, and then try to come in from the southern entrance if I can manage it. So we're just going to use sound to do that, I think. My voice doesn't travel that far. So we'll do... Uh... Oops. Yeah, yeah. Stop it. <laughs> oh, I, I can't speak without my face? Ah, <laughs> what? <laughs> Whoa. Uh, that's a little different. <laughs> huh. I didn't realize I was rendered mute also without my face. Huh. There's a new effect. I knew about the uh, morale negative, but I hadn't actually tried chatting or, or yelling or anything. Apparently, I, I have no mouth and I must, I must scream. Hmm. Huh. No, I don't want to fire a gun. That's way too much noise. We'll just move south a bit. We'll, uh, we'll... Uh, of course he moves into the room. <laughs> Come on, you. Come investigate the noise up here. There you go. Now he's got my scent trail. Alright, that'll get him out of that area. It's, I'd rather actually stay in this, this, this central area and not have to go out and come back in from another direction if I can manage it. Let's see if we can... Pull him. Come on, you. Here you go. Keep following my scent trail. I just need to get you to a spot where I can work my way around you. Alright, can we get down there? Door behind the locker? Nope! Damn it! <laughs> I was sure this was it! Oh, man. And more bathrooms. Dang it! I was certain that was going to be the spot. Ugh. I am fast running out of places to check. I mean, now we've we've almost got the entire thing mapped in now. I was so sure that was the spot. They put a secret door in here? No. I don't know. I am I am pretty much out of ideas here. Oh, right there. Thank goodness, finally. Alright. <laughs> Maybe they changes. I bet it changes. Maybe there's a random location for it. Or a couple of possibilities. That's probably what's what it is, because I it, I, I don't even remember what series it was last time I found one of these. But um, Swipe the card, yes. Let me in, please. kind of wish I could close the door again, because retreating out of here is going to be a nightmare. Alright, we finally made it. <laughs> it was in the one spot I kept having problems getting into. Huge hordes, huge hordes. That one corner I just couldn't seem to clear enough to finally check. So, let's, uh, let's peek. Oh, look at that! <laughs> Security guards right underneath us. Is he even let me go upstairs? You son of a... <laughs> it put me right next to the trap. Oh, am I downed? I'm not downed yet. Oh, that's hilarious. Get me away from there. Alright, time to turn a flashlight on. <laughs> I'm not going to get poisoned right away. Oh, man. <laughs> Just messing with me at this point. I peek it, and it's got security guards all over it. I walk up, instant zapola. <laughs> and like I said, now I've got that guy coming. <clears throat> Let's do this. Let's try to hide from the, uh, from the shock for a moment. Let's um, drop right here the hiking backpack. 
kill that guy. Move his stuff over there. Wield the... Come here, Scar. Uh, my light's over there, too. Damn it. Come here, flashlight. Alright. Shoot that guy. Close the door. <laughs> Hope I don't get shot through the wall, which is a bit possible. Um... Yeah, let's have some V8, sure. Put the... Uh... God dang it, I can't get a shot off. Yeah, now the gas keeps spreading. how many times I get tagged by the electricity while I'm hiding down here. Waiting for the gas to come get me. Dissipate already. My hand's getting a little ridiculous. Alright, so the worst of that's fading. Now we need to re... Yeah, let's get back in here. Reload. Throw the backpack back on. Grab my gear. Alright, see if we can get back out of here without taking another shock. Oh yeah. Smush you. Now it's all about the, uh, the smoke. Right, let's wait a little while longer. Damn it, it got me anyway. Come on, smoke. <laughs> that's that's ridiculous. This is what I meant. I talked earlier about how you're limited in your movement options in the towers because there's only this number of rooms. <laughs> and I think this is always going to be the stairs up. If I remember right. But, um... Yeah, I mean, you get this kind of environmental problem, and it just, it sucks. It sucks a lot. Uh, I'm going to have to go out this way, I think, and it's going to suck. I'm probably going to get tagged one or two more times before I can make it to that door and hope there's not something immediately dangerous in there. Oh, an apartment area. That's perfect. Oh, that's awesome. We finally got some luck. We got lucky. That works out extremely well for us. That gives us a nice little home base area that uh, we can set up in. All right, let's make sure it's clear first. I like the uh, the exterior walls are all these glass windows because we're up in a in a tower. The uh, it's a cool little nod to the situation. All right, mmm, toastums in a pot, and some rotten almond milk. Whoa! Oh, that's the the non-readable version <laughs> just for fun yep just for fun unfortunately i mean all excited i thought we had another of the uh the reference or the books for uh medicine all right so we got plenty of uh cooking materials we got happy books we got <laughs> this random string nothing in the bathrooms Let's 
salt water. Beans and a pot. Right, any any blankets and pillows? I don't think there was any. Oh, there's a blanket. Come on, pillow. Nope. All right. Well, we'll have to make do with a blanket and no pillow, unfortunately. Okay, this is where we're going to set up, I think. Yeah, right here. All right, let's uh, let's drop some stuff. That's not what I wanted. Alright, so we got uh, rounds and reload. We've got one EMP. We'll have to make do with. Can't make more. Got our pickaxe. Um, don't need the blindfold. We don't have light in here. That's just, but the only downside is we don't have a lit uh, bedroom area. Hey, look, it's clear and cloudy. <laughs> we can we can stand by the exterior windows and read. Ah, we made it, though. <laughs> Four hours into the stream. Finally, we're in the building. Now the problem is I didn't bring enough alcohol. I forgot to top off my alcohol before we came in, so... Gotta be a little careful, but we'll be shooting most things. But we're already, uh, we're already almost half done with this first floor. So there's only uh, four rooms and then the room, or five rooms total per. So we got a trap room. We got a the uh, apartment area. What else we're we gonna get? I am on my rollerblades. We're thirsty. We're tired. Need to get um, a re up on our bandages here pretty quick. All right, we got a uh, conveyor belt room. And it has lights. Hmm, maybe I'll set up over here for our crafting and we'll just sleep in the bedroom. Just so I can take advantage of the lighting. Ha, <laughs> teleporter. So there has been a change now, if you're not aware. Used to be you could not get rid of the lights except for by smashing them for melee. But uh, supposedly now you can shoot these. Um... I don't know. <laughs> I was I, I thought you could. I don't know how you target them though. It's still not showing anything in that space. Shooting into the space isn't doing anything. Anybody know the trick? You can still manually break them. Yeah, unless there's a trick to it, I I don't know how to tell it to do it. So it's a it's a recent change, unless it got uh, pulled back again. Target self, snap to target, steady aim, fire modes. Yeah, none of that's going to do anything. I don't know. Mm -hmm. If anybody knows how to do it, let me know. I know you're supposed to be able to. Hey there, Mr. Turret. With no computer. With lights. Glad I checked that. That would have been pretty rude. I, I normally would have just walked right in there. Not a place where I would normally expect the turret to be. Two jugs of ammonia. Compound delivery recipes. Uh-oh. <laughs> Bird and insect. Well. How much harder do we want to make this run? There's a lot of ammonia. Alright, can't do anything about the turret. I, mean, I don't really need to, currently. Uh, 
All right, we're down to one last room. Well, two rooms. Oh, well, it's not like I'll be able to use this, but <laughs> auto dock. All right, auto dock. Hmm. What's in the uh what's in the room? Cranial flashlight again. So many cranial flashlights. Apparently cranial flashlights are a big seller, because they sure are a lot of them in the, in the game world. And the lab analysis kit. One of the tools you need for mutagen crafting. I am not going to be mutagen crafting on this poor six intelligence character, so we're not going down that path. Um, I think there's anything else we need to do here. Oh, well, that's a lucky find. I almost didn't step next to that. Computer Science 301 sitting in a in a drawer. We can get to um, Computer 6, which would take quite a bit of reading. And I unfortunately left the computer's book back at the, uh, the truck. That would help us in here, but uh, we're not going to be able to use it. Alright, come here, you. Get out of there. Come on. Come on. Who we got in here? What the heck? <laughs> That's a little weird. I don't usually see uh, buddies in there with him. Uh, I guess we'll take this while we're here. Alright, so... I could get in with the pickaxe. Um, but we're not going to, of course. Note. Auto duck room. Alright, one last room, and then we'll have the stairs up to the next floor. Which room do we get? Somebody's in there. Oh, we got a barracks. Well, that makes things interesting. Who's waiting for me? Robot or zombies? Ah, oh, robot. Grenade chucking robot. Do I want to deal with that on this character? I would have to break down the door of the pickaxe. At which time I could then have a grenade chucking robot right up in my grill. A one in three chance of hitting lights? Alright. <laughs> Long as there's something to it. Yes, you're correct. That would be my literal dent diamond dental grill this time. <laughs> well, the few times I'm wearing all this crazy equipment. So we do have an EMP grenade. I could uh, pop the EMP grenade right next to the door, try to lure the thing over and use the EMP grenade. I'm not 100% certain a single EMP grenade will drop those things. Another thing I could do is we could pickaxe through a wall back here into one of the rear uh, barracks rooms. And then we could open the door and uh, shoot or do whatever, and we'd have a retreat path. That's another option. Um, the door is the easiest, because if I go through over there... I always, I always I hate going through walls when I don't have to. And we do at least have the stairs available to us. Let's peek up the stairs first, actually. Let's let's see what kind of nonsense we got above us. What do you think? Fire trap room? Oh, no, just plain old computer room. Cool, that's nice and simple. Alright, well that uh that makes that a little easier. Hmm. Do I mess with this thing? I definitely have to get rid of all the lights here, which wouldn't be a problem. Alright, so we've got our darkness.
Well, the problem's going to be, I don't have night vision, I don't have low light goggles. I'm not going to be able to see the thing from any kind of a range unless it's next to a light source. Or I turn a light on and I try to shoot it faster than it uh, starts chucking grenades at me. <clears throat> I have yet to die to one of these grenade chucking robots. They're they're kind of ridiculously slow at throwing out the, uh, the, the dangerous grenades. Now, this guy's about as poorly equipped. Well, I guess he's not the most poorly equipped. I've got a gun, at least. <laughs> but um, no protective gear, so if a real grenade or something comes out and I don't manage to avoid it, then we're, we're pretty much done. I just really hate going through walls. Um, or we can just keep poking our nose upstairs and uh, do this later. Yeah, the robots aren't nearly as bad as the zombie grenadiers were. I can't really I can't use the environment really other than going through a wall to get a better better uh positioning to try to shoot him. No, I I don't have comp. <laughs> I've got like comp. Did I even make it to 1? I started reading the computer's book. Yeah, I made it to 1. I almost made it to 2 by the time we finished up, but I didn't bring the book with me. I don't have enough food and water in here anyway to uh to spend a lot of time just sitting around reading. So I have to go through either... I got a pickaxe with me, so I either have to go through the door pickaxe, or, like I said, pickaxe through the wall, and then take out the rebar, and then lay a pit, or lay a board across the uh, the pit if it still does that. I'm, I'm still having some weird issues with those ledges, even with Z-levels on, off, whatever. I can't remember. Did I, did I leave Z-levels off on this one? Uh, current world... I've forgotten. Yeah, Z levels are off. So I'm going to get one of those ledges that I can't do anything about. So I don't think I'd even be able to go through the wall anymore. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to get one of those ledges that I, I can't uh, I can't do anything with. But I don't actually have an option to go through the wall. We'll just end up with one of the ledges. Hmm. We should probably... We should probably just keep going up for the moment. If we get roadblock from going any further, then we'll deal with this. The moment, there's nothing in there that's really going to change how I approach the rest of the tower anyway. Even if there's weapons and stuff in there. So, let's uh, let's keep pushing up for now. Hey there, zombie right in my face. Oh, lovely. Loveliness. Got some slime bits we can dump some tough zombies into that's actually a good thing to see and we have a library uh anything in the library doesn't sound like it we start pickaxing i'm gonna drain my stamina pretty hard Um, yeah, it has to alternate the stair entrance, actually. It can't put it all in the same spot, can it? Unless the library has the stair up as well. Let's find out. Pickaxe. Anything in here? I see a health book. Which one? Ah, they broke my vending machines. I was really hoping to get to the vending machines. Ah, uh, firefighting is a pretty good one. Don't think I needed that one. That's not the one I wanted. 
mechanics and cooking skills not gonna help me any. and machinery handbook that's the other one that's uh for fun right yep another fun one unfortunately all right so what did we get firefighting compound delivery we got earlier science we got earlier do it yourself internal combustion all right so we got the mid-level fab book that I needed. That'll get us to six if we spend a bunch of time. And that'll uh, at least get me in range of crafting a uh, survivor suit. It'll give us some survivability, finally. Um, not doing uh, cutting weapons, really, so I don't care. Marksmanship, a little more is always good. And then we don't have a fab six to seven book, but... Um, Firefighting will take us the rest of the way. Don't care. Definitely need at some points, and good to have, but um, I need to bridge the gap from three to four, so. All right, not bad. But uh, no stairs, so the stairs are located somewhere else. All right, I think I heard some noise out here previously. What do we got? Uh, somebody's moving around. Alright, not going to be any turrets. Whoa! One, two soldiers. Two toughs, a scientist, and a grabber so far. Alright. We, uh, we can take care of this. Antibiotics. Ha! <laughs> they brought me an M10 or an M110A1. Well, that was friendly of them. There's a uh, 308 rounds. <laughs> 53 damage. So, yay! I guess. Definitely grab it. Don't care about the rest. This is kind of full. There's a lot of zombies in one little room. Hopefully they accumulated there from a few areas. <laughs> a pipe. Exciting. Alright. Nothing much in there. Nothing much in here. Some how much how much bleach? Two? Two! <laughs> what is with the bleach always being two? Nearly always, anyway. Sports room. Give me sports drink. Clean water is good enough. Ah, fitted judo gi. Ooh. I like fitted judo gis. I recommend these to new players quite often. Go ahead and grab that. So let's take a look at it. If you're not familiar, if you have a dojo near your starting position and you're going to go there to look for a martial arts manual anyway, uh, take a look at the fitted judo gi. They're 95% uh, coverage on torso, arms, and legs for only five encumbrance. 3-3 protection, which isn't a huge amount, but um, for 95% coverage on the major body parts, um, that's actually a really good number. So I wouldn't pass that up. All right, this room was bedroom. Hmm. Excuse me. 
The noise must have come from here. Brute! Run! Nothing interesting there. Please don't shock me. Please don't shock me. Oh, Lucasite breeder system. What do you think the chances are we're going to get that installed with a six intelligence character? Three first aid skill. I'm going to guess, what, 70% fail rate? <laughs> Whoa, we've actually maxed out our carry capacity again. How to manage that? Oh, all these gallon jugs, that's what did it. Alright, let's let's drop these. I don't think I'm ever gonna use those things. Okay, don't care about that back room. It's just cleaning supplies. Two more rooms and we're done on this floor. Yeah, I am still carrying the mask. And another, yet another uh, auto dock room. Nothing in the room this time. There's our stairs. Who's locked up? Cyborg, cyborg, cyborgs. Alright, last room on this floor. We got another one of these rooms. All right. Floor two is clear. Almost. <laughs> Hiding in there this time, were you? That's what we need. First aid kit. Finally, something useful. All right, now we're done. And, yeah, I think the stairs are always going to be corner to corner. Up, 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 back and forth. So, second floor is done. Let's head back down and drop off some stuff. All right. Definitely those. We're going to pop open the uh, first aid kit here and just. Still tired. Let's go ahead and have a drink. All we have left is the barracks on the first floor. Second floor is done. Time to peek and see what kind of uh, room roulette we get to play. That's not bad. That'll work just fine. 
Jin! We got our reload. <laughs> and a flu shot. I'll take the flu shot right now. Thank you very much. What's CBM? Air filtration. Eh, it's useful. Ah, Kevlar zombie. Let's see. Should have enough room to maneuver to uh, finish these guys. Especially if they walk back into the room. Alright, let's go in here first so we can get a longer shot. <laughs> Oops. Ah, that was the only one that was possibly going to give me any real problem. Hiding in the corners again, are you? Next up, oh yucky, yuck yuck, full of yuck, we got sewage, yeah, let's hold off on that one, what do we got the other way, whoops, <laughs> somebody popped out, ah, useless fire axe room, not the useless fire axe room, <laughs> it's me anyway. A few more zombies in there than I thought. in the uh, elevators can stay in the elevators. Pretty useless room otherwise. <laughs> Three Kevlar zombies. Kevlar brutes. Um, yeah, that's going to be a little bit of more of a problem. We'll just let them sit in their corner, I think, for now. Noise, noise, noise everywhere else. Zombies. Cocaine. Hey, who let you guys out? Whoops. I think I ran out of bullets. <laughs> I ran out of bullets. That uh, that could be bad. Not gonna get another one reloaded before he can get to me. All right, reload. Oh, I don't have any with me. Crap. <laughs> Um, how did I drop all my bullets? Alright, let's go with the Enforcer for the short term then. That was a pretty big little snafu there. Jeez. Thought, uh, thought the Enforcer would do a little better against those guys. All 
Alright, well, one round left the Enforcer. It's essentially useless, and I've got no ammo. So we've got to go back down. Not gonna risk that. All right, ammo. 133 rounds left. Do I have enough to finish this tower? <laughs> if not, I'll have to use my one EMP on that turret to uh, re-up my ammo supply. Ah, uh, just take it all. And leave behind whatever we Oh, I can't drink the lemonade. Gotta re-up my gin supply before I take off again. Let's leave that behind also. All right, reload and reload. Not that I'm doing much meleeing in here. But... All right, so we know the last room is uh, which which type is that? What am I looking at up there? And how do I know there's beds up there? <laughs> Did we see those from the outside at some point? And what is what is that arrangement with beds set up like that? That's weird looking. I don't recognize how that's going to sort out. Yeah, let's go finish clearing this area so I don't have to worry about these guys wandering around. Anything interesting? Combat boots. Nope, nothing interesting. Alright, so that's the final room to the north, other than this confusing setup right here. Oh, the medical room. Alright, yeah, that makes more sense. Now I understand how it's set up. Alright, there's nothing in here that I care to go look at. There's a good chance there's a shock in here somewhere, because there's a high chance of a shock zombie up in that room right there. I'd rather not take yet another shot, if I can avoid it. Yeah, it's probably going to be a shock zombie right in here. I don't want to go traipsing through all of the, uh, the sewage to get shocked, so we're going to call that done. Scientist, that's going to be a uh, prisoner containment facility. Yep, prisoner containment. Still a chance of something nasty being in the, the other side here with the uh, upgraded evolution factor, but I'm going to risk it. So let's go ahead and go uh, pickaxe. Ah, smoke, not good. That I didn't need. I wasn't anticipating a smoke zombie. I'm not sure I should... Wait, I have to go in there, don't I? Yeah, I have to go in there to get the stairs up. Oh, this, this could actually suck. <clears throat> Excuse me? Kevlar zombie... How am I seeing him? Ex uh, oh, is there a window here? Oh, there is a window here. That's how I'm seeing him. <laughs> I didn't notice there was a glass pane right there that let me see along this line. That's interesting. But yeah, this is going to be a bit of a problem right here.
Hmm. Um. Yeah, what a pain in the ass. Can't go any further up without going into that room. I have no smoke protection. <laughs> We're already down three on the torso, and uh, hacking up our lungs could do more damage. I'm kind of worried about that. If I can't lure the um, smoke zombie down where I can shoot him on the edge of the cloud, I can't do that because I can't yell. Come on, smoke zombie. Yeah, he could be anywhere in these couple of rooms. Ugh, what a mess. <laughs> this sucks. I hate getting roadblocked like this, but it's pretty much exactly what I explained. Well, even yelling's uh, likely not to get his attention because there's other zombies in here banging on things. So, I'm pretty certain that uh, it wouldn't let me either way. There he is. Now, of course, I need to get him out of that room and get my gun out and get a shot off while he's on the edge of the cloud. Or f just fight him. <laughs> what do you think the chances are I'm actually going to get a shot at this guy? Come on, smoke zombie. You lost me in the cloud, did you? In your own cloud? Wasn't that far away. Ah, and there's the lung full of smoke. Dang it! I think he might have gone back into that room. It's pretty annoying. I think I'm just going to have to take the smoke inhalation and wait in there and kill him. This will be about the time when the uh, Shocker Brute shows up, punches me into a corner, and holds me there, and electrocutes me to death. So, let's... um. Swap out the roller blades for the boots. Wield our nail knuckles, which do not conduct electricity. And want the dose up. I'm just gonna have to really, really hope he's not um He's not alone in or that he is alone in there. That's um Yeah, we'll empty the vodka. Alright. Come on, zombie. At least meet me part way. There was a dust mask somewhere back in the way that would help a little bit. Um, not sure I remember where I saw it though.
Really? That guy had... That guy's got binoculars? That guy? Yeah, that's kind of funny. down a floor. It's not going to completely ha fix the uh, smoke inhalation, but it, it would help a little bit. Let's... Uh, A good long while. Get the smoke inhalation gone. Hopefully some of that has dissipated. That wasn't so bad. Was there was there a benefit? <laughs> Prozac. Only meds we got was Prozac. Nope, no benefit. Where's the stairs? There's got to be stairs. There they are. Alright, so we do have our stairs up. Let's uh, switch everything back again. Get rid of the uh, steel toe boots. Back to the roller blades. And back to the gun. Alright, what do we got? Alright, let's... No danger in here, barring a random zombie or something. Hey, a pillow I can sleep. Whoa, hey there, random zombies. <laughs> um, you guys going to break that door down probably pretty easily? Or not? All right, if you're happy to stay in there, I'm happy to let you. So, it looks like these northern sections are always going to be a specialty. So this, this northern point is always going to be one of the specialty rooms. Barracks, uh, library, prisoner containment, and so on. And then the other rooms are randomized. Which one we got? Another library. Um, I guess that's good. I'm not sure if I'd rather have libraries on this guy or uh, a barracks. Alright, they're starting to break through the door. I should probably go take care of them. But too close to melee. Yeah, I could wait till they come out and then shoot. They ever there they go. Alright, he did not dart us. We're good there. All right, let's uh, let's break into the library. Uh oh, uh oh. <laughs> We've had some pretty rude librarians recently. <laughs> I've had I've had skeletal, skeletal juggernaut librarians. I've had shocker brute librarians. Yeah, let's see what we get. Hopefully he doesn't punch me into a wall. Nope, I haven't seen him yet. Standard zombie. Alright, no problem. Anybody else? I'm not liking the luck, the, the total lack of books. 
Ah, another V8 at least, and hey, we got some, let's see, pistachios, meat jerky, and malt balls. And I guess we'll also grab mineral water, and that's it. Alright, what do we got here? Stupid machinery handbook again. I already got firefighting. That's useless. Chemical warfare. Not useless, but um, not something we'll use anytime soon. Stupid pocket guide again. And that's also useless. Ah, yeah, that library sucked. That was a pretty bad library. Uh, is that the midpoint fab book I needed to bridge that one gap? I guess that would be the only real benefit there. So, yeah. Alright. Reload. A lot of noise. I'm about due for a spider or a blob room sometime soon. Or ammo. Uh, I think I'm gonna I'm gonna melee these guys. Let's let's not just waste the ammo on them. Get rid of the roller blades and the backpack. Wield a uh, let's go with the brass knuckles for now. More binoculars. Come and get me. Alright, that saved 15, 20 rounds of ammo. Cashews, good stuff. Don't daze me, bro. Oops, I'm gonna get. Yep, I got dazed. <laughs> yeah, punk. At least he only got me lightly dazed. Oh, another shock track room. Shock trap room. Whoa! Almost let it get through the wall and get me. Uh, that's a dead acid zombie. What's killing the acid zombies? Oh, the electricity. They got too close to the wall and they got uh, shocked to death. That's kind of fun. And another auto dock. <laughs> so limited in what kind of rooms we can have. And it uh, keeps putting up auto docks. With a machete. Whoa! Whoa! Buddy, sneak up on me like that. Alright, nothing else in here. 
No, that's the butcher knife. That's not the machete. I always see that big ass blade, and it never occurs to me that's a butcher knife. <laughs> All right, who we got trapped in here this time? Oh, we got an incandescent. That's what was doing it. All right, two more rooms to go, and we're done on this floor too. So this will be the one with the uh, stairs. All right, another one of these big rooms. Bad dog. Remington 870 Express again. Sure, we'll grab it temporarily. Alright, another dead critter because of the shock. Stairs with a teleporter. It's gonna suck because we're gonna we're gonna work our way all the way up to the top, and it's gonna be a finale that I don't care about. Another teleporter, stethoscope. We got stethoscope and scalpel now, right? Scalpel, and we got stethoscope. Cool. All right, I got no use for teleporters right now. Um, one last room. <laughs> 